Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is my channel Chesapeake Chris. Thanks for stopping by. I bought my fish finder late last year off Amazon. It's about $100. It's a Humminbird Piranha Max 4. It does not have GPS, but I didn't think that was necessary for me. And they said I'd like to do a whole quick little video on the review of it. So I'm going to do some video of it today. If I don't use all the features on it, um, but I just want you to see kind of the screen. It got pretty good reviews on Amazon, and I'm really happy with it. It does show the depth. It shows structure. It shows the temperature, and it does show fish. But like a lot of people said, this thing shows it seems to show a lot of fish that either aren't there or are hungry. I don't know which. I say I like it. It's pretty nice. It's pretty easy to see even out in the bright sun. Fish Finder is a Humminbird Piranha Max 4. I bought it off Amazon as usual. It was about $100. Uh, it's supposed to be water resistant, which is good. It's got a pretty good screen. It's got a lot of good features. So we'll show you, we'll kind of give you a review of how it works, how good it is. It doesn't have GPS. That's okay, I didn't need it. But it does tell you the temperature of the water. The transducer tells you the water tone, which I think is very useful. Okay, we're gonna try and get some footage of the uh, fish finder in action. You can see it shows a depth there. Um, this is a spot where I come later in the year and I catch a lot of perch, it's not very deep. But uh, you can see it's about four foot deep, 56 degrees. Um, it shows the structure really well. Um, I'm just going to let it blow me around down through here, and I'm sure we'll go over top of some stuff. See, this fish finder will show fish on it. Um, I guess the thing I like about it is, like most fish finders, it shows the depth and the water temperature. But the fish show up, and it tells you how deep it thinks they are. And, I, you know, it self-adjusts for the depth. But what I like is it shows you the structure on the bottom, so that you can really... You can really see where there's structure, and that's usually where I catch my fish. But you can see some of the fish that are coming across on it now. It tells you the depth there, two feet. But I'm pretty happy with this fish finder. And you can set the screen up to display the fish as just blips, or actual, like, pictures of fish. And next to the fish, it will tell, it'll have a little number, and that's how deep it thinks it is. And the bigger the fish, the bigger the symbol on the screen. Uh, it self adjusts for depth and all that. You can set a fish alarm on it. That was annoying. It thought it saw fish all the time and it just kept beeping. You can set a low water alarm on it. Um, I don't worry about that either in my kayak. Maybe if you had a boat, that would be good. But yeah, we'll let it blow me down through here and see if I can't get some video of some structure. It's moving me down here good enough with the wind. And I'm actually dragging a lure behind me while I'm doing this. There, there's some structure on the bottom. Then there's a fish, it says at two foot. Another fish at three foot. There's some really good structure there. I may have to put my phone down here and see if I catch anything right here. There's some good structure. No little pictures of fish around there, but that there looks like there should be fish down there. See, and I don't know if you can see the screen, but there's a fish that says at four feet. Uh, just a little one. Some other good structure on the bottom, though. And there's a couple fish. One at five feet, one at four feet. A lot of good structure again. I don't ever seem to get a bite, though. I'm not too sure. Look at that. There's a mess of structure, and it says there's a fish right there. So we'll see if we catch him. It says he's at three feet. Okay. Look what's going across this fish finder as I'm paddling back to the dock. It keeps showing all these fish. You gotta be kidding me. Like, look at all them fish. I don't think them fish are all there. Instead of going home and doing my ending, why don't I just do it right here on my kayak? 
for a change. Hope you liked this video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, share it, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget the notification bell so you get notified the next time I put a video out. And I'll see you on the next video.